Hi everyone, my name is Dabika and I'm your Techie Tantrika. Hi everyone, I hope you're having an amazing week this week. This week I bring to you a huge internet mystery. It's a story that's been covered by the Huffington Post, Forbes, New York Times. I'm amazed by how many media outlets are covering this and on top of that, Snopes is still not really quite sure if it's actually real or not. A chiropractor by the name of Daniel Dobbs has come up with a patent for a possible application type product that's supposed to assist women with their period. The product is supposed to be called Menses or Menses as some of its critics have called it on the internet. Basically it's supposed to be a glue lipstick that women are supposed to use during their period to actually seal their vulva shut, uh, therefore collecting the menstrual blood that way. I know it's already sounding really ridiculous, uh, but the story gets weirder. Me, being a curious person, decides to look further into this because I'm already like, why would I want to glue my vulva shut? I'm not really understanding the need for this. Upon my research, I've come up with a couple things that I found really interesting. First thing I've noticed is that it doesn't seem to be properly tested. And there is a Facebook screenshot going around. Allegedly, this is his brother who's gone on to say that he's insane and that he's never actually tested this. At some point, it seems that the critics might have been a little much for Daniel and he or somebody who represents the company had gone on to say this on their Facebook page, which was shortly shut down. Women are focused and distracted by their periods 25% of the time, making them far less productive as they could be. And he also goes on to say his dream is to have women free of the distractions, the psychological issues that goes along with their periods, as if to say that our periods scar us for life every month. I'm not exactly sure where he's going with this. He also goes on to shame women for not coming up with something better than diapers and plugs, and goes on to say that he feels that this wonderful product that he made will solve everything because apparently periods are that atrocious. It seals the vulva shut and then it's supposed to magically come undone when they go to the washroom, but somehow menstrual fluid isn't going to do that. So back to what I was saying earlier about Daniel not actually testing this on anybody or anything. I might be able to retract that. Uh, he goes on to basically assume that people think of their periods as gross, crusty, smelly, and incredibly awful. Maybe he just tried it on his own anus for a weekend. Like maybe he was dared by some buddies and thought, hey, let's see how long I could do this until I actually need to use the washroom. I'm not really sure. It sounds like he's not describing a person's period. Clearly there's a lot of holes in this and this has led the internet to wondering, well, maybe this is a hoax. Maybe this is a joke. Maybe some of you who are watching this are watching it because they are also looking for alternatives to their menstrual care products. I realize that there's a lot of chemicals in pads and tampons. Instead of using regular tampons, you can try using organic tampons. However, if you want to take it a step further, you can look into menstrual cups like the Diva Cup, which is something that collects your menstrual blood but doesn't involve you sealing your vulva shut, so it's already a step up. You can use it, it's easily washed, and it allows you to stay away from harsh chemicals that tampons and pads usually are, are made of. The other thing that I'm really excited about that I actually want to try and will likely order soon are Thinks underwear. These great period panties are truly the future, I feel, of menstrual health and wellness. It does have an antibacterial layer built into it and it's super absorbent. You don't have to worry about it causing issues in the wash and that sort of thing. They have underwear ranging from light days to heavy days all around. I just found the reviews were really, really positive. I can't say enough about things, panties. I just encourage you to go take a look at their website. So thank you so much, everybody, for taking a look at this video. Please feel free to share this video and like it. If you have any additional information you want to add about the Mensa's labia lipstick, please feel free to add that in the comments section below. And please remember to subscribe to this channel. I put out a new video every week. It's always within the realm of time. I take a look at sex, dating, relationships, sometimes even tech trends that affect those things, and also sometimes creative energy because sexual energy and creative energy are one and the same and I really like to take a look at the relationship between them. So thank you so much everyone and until next week, take care.